Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, October 24th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, October 24th? What is the viewer need to see in here for October 24th? Okay, so the first one out is Medusa. Um, so there's maybe some kind of jealousy surrounding you. Uh, whether you're experiencing it from someone else or maybe even... Maybe you could be envious of a situation. Um, with the wolf, it's really this kind of energy of beware and, and who you're trusting. So two sort of uh, warnful kind of cards. And then seduction, so actually three. Um, and then the the Seder. So this is really about um, indulgence. So are you at this tipping point where you're ready to let go of something that is dishonest and maybe... You know, you need to let go of some, some stuff. Maybe you're in the process of shedding some skin here. It could be very... Um, it, it feels as if you're really maybe trying to get yourself out of a, a greedy situation or maybe very envious or just um, something that is just not... It's not nice. It's not good energy. It's very... All these cards I have to see... It, Say they're pretty um, untrusting um, and maybe this is where you're really um, being pushed to some sort of bravery uh, to change something it's something that you've been indulging in okay uh, so let's see what these mean for you guys heavy energy so let's see what this means welcome I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe please like share and subscribe and I just value you guys coming here and watching these readings daily. Thank you so much. Um, let's see, Medusa. What is Medusa? Maybe somebody's jealous of your 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 fortune, even the way you you carry yourself. Maybe your success. Maybe your relationship. I mean, it's really strange. But Medusa. What is Medusa, please? So it maybe something that you you in the past had envious thoughts about another or maybe this is someone else in your ex ex exterior that you know maybe felt these kind of ways about you um you have the eight of wands which is good because i feel that that is a form of moving away from it it is a form of action it's a form of um perhaps communicating that maybe you're not interested in that um so you have the the Nine of Cups, the World, the Two of Wands, and the Hermit. So that's beautiful energy um, compared to that one, to Medusa. Um, it, it's very much getting that wish fulfillment. Maybe this is you balancing yourself out, seeing between, you know, good and bad energies, maybe even envious people that you've had around your, your life. I definitely do feel that. There is a completion here as far as maybe a recognition that you had to maybe weed out certain people like this in your life. Uh, you have the world, the two of wands, and the hermit. So this is perhaps a place where, you know, um, you had to really dig deep and have that kind of moment where you just, just went through everything in your life. And really, you could have decided that, you know... Just what the card says, jealousy leads to downfall. So this could definitely be envy, um, maybe the greed uh, as far as money. Um, that was definitely definitely a sense of um, an obstacle in, in right, right, right dead center in your uh, situation, okay? But I feel that there's definitely a sense of maybe reevaluating something and going towards a new path, okay? Um, maybe you need to communicate with somebody. Maybe this is a wish fulfillment for somebody. Um, what is the Eight of Wands, please? The Eight of Wands. What is the Eight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles. So it's time for action. It's time to get off, out, off of the wallflower kind of stage um, and take some kind of action to perhaps harvest things that you want to accomplish um whether this is work related family or even love uh there's definitely a sense of somebody maybe not wanting you to succeed maybe taking from you um meaning 
um, you know, your ideas, your projects, your, 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 even friends and family may be isolating you from something. Um, it's due to envy, okay? Um, what is the Nine of Cups? What's the Nine of Cups here? What is the Nine of Cups? Nine of Cups. Okay, so you got the Chariot. So this is definitely a wish fulfillment. Whether you're wishing for this to happen to you or to another, um, the Chariot is very much a sense of balance and a sense of uh, unity and being able to make a good choice um, which puts you in a place of you're not in denial and you're not dissatisfied with what you're doing because you're going down that straight that straight line um and it's quite unusual it's it's quite different for you i feel but it's something that um it's like you're tired of doing a, a balancing act perhaps between two situations okay is what i'm getting but um, I definitely do with the chariot. This is you really taking on some kind of action forward. Um, and what is the two of wands? What's the two of wands? And I love this two of wands because it's maybe a soulmate calling. Uh, could be you maybe ending the delay or whatever things haven't planned out for you. You know, the, ha the you might have things planned out, but they didn't work out. In other words those things i feel like they're they may be coming back for you so in abundance this is a lesson this is definitely a sense where whatever has blocked you from your abundance it, it's really um it, it's dissipating it's it's going away um so the empress could be this person that you've been somehow planning to go towards but have been stopped maybe due to an envious energy um, but I definitely do the, the, I do feel that the Empress is definitely the sense of this is where you're coming home to. This is where everything is going to be okay for you. There's a sense of stability. There's definitely a sense of communicating and um, spirit, a, a spiritual connection. Um, I definitely do feel like there's a lot of growth here. So this is what's driving you to, to be balanced. I definitely heard that this is somebody who doesn't want to be off balance anymore. And so perhaps the envious energy here um, is somebody who doesn't want you to move forward. You know, maybe they've been um, maybe they've been holding on to your money. Um, maybe just even just know how to push your buttons so that you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, close a chapter with them. Or in a situation, something just sort of held on to you, okay? Um, so let's see here. But this is definitely uh, a good energy. Um, it, in other words, it's almost like you're closing out a cycle of uh, maybe in a place where um, either you were just power hungry for money or even just envious of other people or it could be the the person that was like that towards you and it held sort of held you okay um what is the wolf and so this is uh beware of who you trust so i definitely do feel that you're you're starting to recognize that this kind of energy is no go it's not a it's not positive you might have been somehow um i i see brainwashed i see brainwashed or it's a hard it's it's a weird word um somehow like convinced that this this was normal if that makes sense um it, it's almost as if it, you've been in it for so long that it became normal this this kind of uh maybe you're dealing with somebody very temperamental and very narcissist is what it feels like okay um, so you dealt with it for so long that it became part of your your cycle, your life. And I think that what is happening now with the wolf, you're waking up that, oh my gosh, this is okay to walk away from this. It's okay to leave it. Um, it's okay to let go of conflict, um, envy, jealousy, a betrayal, um, all those really bad kind of things, you know. So this is where you surrender to it. And it's almost a sense of peace and rescue that comes over you once you do this, okay? Um, and then, the see? The Five of Swords, amazing. You got two cards of surrender. 
The Five of Swords is definitely the small judgment. So have you been too hard on yourself? Have you been um, maybe like casting like doubt onto yourself? Um, not feeling like you could succeed? Or it was just the other energy that sort of cast that on you. Um, I feel like this is where you're putting down your sword and in a sense you still have um, you're gonna still have your wits about you you know you're you're putting down a sword that is that very heavy conflict kind of uh, struggle sword and it's giving you an opportunity for a second chance um, so perhaps you're, you're you're letting either a person go that's like this a situation a family a job whatever the case for you okay um, the the high priestess is at the at the bottom. Maybe this is a tight hold that a mother has against you. Um, a mother, um, perhaps these are secrets that have been lingering in your closet, and they just sort of maybe came out, which gives you a sense of relief and a sense of a new beginning. Also, uh, also because you sort of have to somehow surrender to those things. So maybe some secrets were exposed. Okay. And the Ten of Swords, see, it, it's something that hurt you very much. It's something that it became your new normal. It became this sense of, okay, this is okay. This is the way we live. But somewhere in here, I think that you've come come to a realization that that's not really where you're being successful. Okay. What is the Five of Swords? Five of Swords. This one right here. The Devil. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe you're getting over something very toxic guys um um it's a calling from god really to release this what is the devil what's the devil please what is the devil here um maybe you're going through that dark shadow of the night yeah i'm really doing shadow work yes the star and the ace of wands so this could be the realization that oh my gosh i need to change i really need to get out of that bad behavior whether this is the bad behavior that you do um to yourself or to others it's almost as if you you're you're taking the time to focus on you and concentrate on your core and heal okay with the star card it's very much a destiny card it's very much your spirit your higher consciousness calling you um, to free you yourself from this devil and five of swords energy perhaps this is a twin flame connection for you because of the star card i definitely feel there is a spiritual connection here perhaps a connection that somehow guided you to healing and then definitely the the ace of wands is really um you know not really giving a care about whatever everybody else is thinking um, it's almost where you just go after your own dreams and your own passions and your your new ideas that you're getting. Perhaps this is somebody who has been just stuck in a very materialistic kind of relationship or job or even mentality and they just totally think different now, okay? Which is a sense of healing, which is beautiful. I want to know what is the second chance with the judgment? What's the second chance here? What the judgment, please? What is the second chance? The judgment. Judgment, please. What is that? Okay. So the Queen of Wands, maybe that is your person, your teacher, your your sense of um, a person who drove you um, to greatness. I feel uh, that could be either your 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 twin, or maybe you are the twin that's healing your your twin. If that makes sense, okay. Um, let's see, there's one more that I filled out. So let's see, I'm trying to get it. And the three of wands. So this is your second chance from, from, uh, um, taking, um, initiative, taking that, um, kind of clarity and that passion to move forward with something. The queen of wands could definitely be this learning energy of how or where you want to go towards now. Um, the Three of Wands is very much about manifestation. It's about uh, gathering yourself. And perhaps it took you some time to learn more about yourself in order to get yourself to move 
in a more positive direction because I think that what is happening here is in, in a sense you're following your passion it could be to this queen of wands it could be to a new a new you okay I feel like there is something coming in for you something new something you've been waiting for for a long time I get that with the, the two of wands and with the three of wands it's something that you've been waiting to somehow balance out for you perhaps something to end uh, waiting for something to end so that you can go forward straight, okay? Straight and narrow, straight down the narrow path, okay? Um, that's what they say. So this is somebody who might have gone back and forth and might have kept themselves in a very um, material world, okay? Um, so very interesting. So I definitely do feel this is spirit trying to tell you um be careful of the things that um, uh, they're just not honest and they're not authentic. You, you, this is a sort of a, of a guidance call to go towards the things that will help you to grow and help you to expand your inner core with, with peace um, and perhaps a new beginning for yourself to do whatever it is that maybe you've procrastinated in for such a long time. But also maybe um, taking a more nature approach to it rather than about money and greed. Okay, so um, let's see. I want to know what is this seduction? So passion and um, romance await. Okay, so maybe this is where um, you're being trusted to go towards the right kind of person. Maybe you're leaving a person who's very... Uh, temptress and, and seductive and very um, uh, sort of like an energy that you don't trust okay maybe towards something that is a little bit more romantic and has more passion maybe something younger and something more mature okay um, you got the fool so it's really a risk that you're taking um, it, it's almost like a risk but in a sense, you're you're ready to move forward is what I see. Um, the Fool brings in that kind of um, happiness. I feel like there's a sense of happiness, uh, maybe some kind of joy that awaits you with this, uh, this card, this seduction card. Um, maybe it's telling you to trust yourself in this relationship, especially if you've left a situation or a relationship that has been very dark and perhaps perhaps very um, hurtful is what I feel, okay? Um, so the fool, please, what is the fool in seduction? Maybe this is going towards that person um, that brings you that new, that sense of that new beginning and happiness and uh, really um, sort of joyful instead of dark and money and, and keeping up with the Joneses and a trophy you know like some somebody you hold on your on your arm um versus somebody who could be very passionate and very growing so you got the queen of pentacles this person's very grounded i definitely do feel like this is a person who's very grounded um maybe the knight of wands okay so the knight of wands and the queen of wands really wanting to rush in and give some sort of offer what is the queen of wands okay so the eight, and I was going to say, because the Queen of Wands is here and then the King, Queen of Pentacles came here, I was going to say when I was looking at the Queen of Wands, but I don't always want to think negative about the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands could be very prosperous, but this person is very grounded to money, okay? Because you've got the Eight of Cups. So see how one card will change the whole reading. It's crazy, but it's almost as if... Um, you have to take that risk or that that passion that drive that's that's calling you to walk away from something that is very greedy um i feel like th this person is grounded by money um superficial um envious they could be very envious of, of you because you're doing this sort of thing where you're you're closing out a chapter and i don't think they belong in that chapter anymore i don't feel that they can come um, and so they might be putting up a fight for you, but you got to take with this Knight of Wands, you got to take that passion towards the thing that makes you really feel authentic. 
and there is a connection here with the devil and the star there is a spiritual connection here that is pulling you and see perhaps maybe you need to speak the truth here with the seven of swords swords and the two of swords really make a decision um i want to know what is the knight of wands knight of wands okay this one right here okay queen of cups queen of cups and then this one right here the wheel so a new cycle with the queen of cups okay um what is the queen of wands just to clarify right here the queen of wands it's a lot of women here okay so it's the choice this is the person the person that you're choosing is the person that is authentic to you they have taught you to be authentic they have taught you uh, it almost like it was almost like a, um, the obstacle was that maybe you were going on in a relationship with somebody who was quite um, narcissistic or very money driven but I feel that you were part of that as well um, <coughs> how can I say that so if this isn't your twin I mean if it isn't you it's your twin that was stuck with somebody that was very money narcissistic but they were right behind it you know they were that's what they were accustomed to but the downfall of it is that they might have met the queen of wands and realized oh my god this is i really don't need all this money and i don't need all this superficial stuff to be happy that's why the choice is to go towards passion and somebody who really loves you instead of maybe a facade or something that looks good on the outside but not on the inside and there's the ace of swords and the page of cups so there's a new beginning coming here and it's very it's with the seduction card because seduction could obviously be very you know not such a nice kind of energy but the way it, the reading is it's that this is the way spirit is somehow guiding you it's guiding you towards this kind of um spiritual connection and that's why there's so much of a connection um attraction towards this connection is what it feels like okay so i do feel like somebody is taking a risk um what is the risk they keep saying risk so i want to know what is the risk what the fool what's the risk okay i guess they've really got to uh, express the feelings maybe you don't know how they feel about you uh, maybe they held back the honest feelings that they have about you see the moon right there there might have been a lot of confusion about this relationship and the seven of cups it could have been a, a, a bad um, a wrong choice that was made but with the knight of cups this is definitely a sense of you know what they gotta they gotta just express everything they have to convey everything that um you know maybe they didn't quite say to you and it, this could be vice versa maybe this is what you need to do to somebody okay um but i do see that there is a sense of walking away from something that was not so much where they are now meaning they have a lot more awareness to what authentic love is um unconditional love okay so and i think that that is what's risky i think that that is something that perhaps this person has never quite experienced before okay so the the satar um what does this mean um so really um you know be careful of um indulgence and and really um almost like dream state kind of mode like make sure that you make this if you really want this to happen make sure you you go get it you know um it could be a message for your twin if it isn't you um it's almost like spirit trying to tell you you know um really stop thinking about it and do it is what i feel so yeah look at that i'm sorry i'm laughing because I don't know how I do this, but I already knew. It's like three of swords and the moon. It's somebody who's dragging their feet. And they're thinking about it instead of doing it. And what spirit is doing is telling them, like, don't stay in this place where you're heartbroken, where you're sad completely and confused and really not happy and sinking and drowning in your sorrows. Um, 
uh, it's really somebody who needs to allow change and perhaps allow some kind of vulnerability to surface to the top um, and not be scared to show it, okay? Um, so the Three of Swords just feels like this defeated energy um, and very confused. Maybe they just feel that, you know, perhaps maybe, you know, if it's coming to a place where you just don't know, you just don't know if there's going to be success or not. Or is this the person who's thinking that, oh my gosh, is my person still going to be there? Um, could be a third party situation. Three of Swords, please. What is this Three of Swords? What is the Three of Swords? So the strength. Really trying to overcome it. Really trying to um, get the courage and, and the inner power to maybe break free from this Three of Swords energy. What is the strength card? So ending, ending that stressful situation uh, so they can reunite. You see, this is somebody who really wants to leave this kind of, um, this life that they have acquired that they don't fit into anymore. Um, that's the best way I can say it. It's like, they don't fit into that storyline anymore and but there's so much worry and and fear about ending it with the ten of so ten of wands i'm sorry there's a lot of baggage maybe a lot of family to think of but then i think that what's winning out is the three of cups and the six of swords spirit saying okay it's time to leave this stressful situation the three of swords is really wanting to come back together perhaps to reun reunite, to celebrate, to gather around, um, whatever that is for, for you with the Three of Cups. It's really a sense of building a better, um, happier facade for yourself on the inside and on the outside. So <clears throat> someone is coming towards, a, coming in for a better, um, like a better, uh, a better place, um, I should say coming towards a better place, um, almost as if they don't want to look back anymore. Um, <clears throat> with the Eight of Cups, it's very much already knowing where you're going. Um, it's almost like a calling. It's almost as if you can close your eyes and you will know where you're going to end up. It's really a calling. It's it's that divine spirit, that consciousness that has uh, awoken you to go towards what it is that your heart desires. And so the Six of Swords is someone who's leaving a difficult situation, but they don't want to look back anymore, okay? Um, I think because they've had a, a lot of stress, they've had a lot, maybe a lot of fear, maybe a lot of backstabbing, a lot of conflict, um, something like that, okay? And then, then they have the thing with you where they haven't been quite honest too, and so they feel a lot of pressure is what I feel. Um, these two fell out right now as I picked up the deck. It's the Three of Cups. I'm sorry, the Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So maybe working on letting go of that materialistic um, hold, you know. Maybe they have a lot of things together with the karmic partner um, as far as finance, okay. Give me one more card. <clears throat> so the Emperor taking charge, regaining strength, taking back the power. Uh, doing what needs to be done is what they say. Um, I want to know how does the story end for today, please? How does the story end for today? How does the story end for today? Eight of Cups and the Devil. So walking away from that that Medusa energy, guys. That Medusa energy is not a nice person. Very manipulative. Very narcissistic. Quite mature, immature. Um yeah very toxic okay so this is definitely a sense of leaving that situation if it isn't that you're leaving a person that is very toxic for you it's that you're leaving that mentality for yourself okay finding yourself so it can go either way for you um you will know um what else please what else what else here? okay so you have the Nine of Cups, getting that wish fulfillment, okay? Definitely. Um, the bottom is Temperance. The top is this, the Eight of Wands. So, um, 
really having some sense of um sorry the nine of wands is i'm looking at my, that's not seven it's the nine of wands so healing um taking your time to do it don't let it, anybody rush you um there is that spiritual connection there it is not going anywhere um so do it when you you really feel you need to and i feel like that is what is calling you um to go towards a new okay I want to know <clears throat> what can you tell me about this feeling? I'm telling you, the throat chakra just comes on <clears throat> when I do the readings. It's just crazy. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Okay, so ah, oh, see, look at the writer. You have someone coming in. This is somebody that, and it's regarding love, guys. It's it's regarding love. Um, so expect some sort of communication, some kind of um, somebody new in your life. Um, maybe they're new to you. Maybe you've never had the experience to be with this person, but you know them. Okay. Um, they're the birds. This is really about messaging. Um, <clears throat> pay attention to the synchronicities. This is also soulmate connection. Um, and then the fish. So going towards something that just works and it's easy. It's just easy. It'll be easier this time is what they're saying. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so maybe somebody who has become balanced. Okay. And they're dying to give you that message. So there's that garden. That garden is really when two people come together, um, start up a new thing. Um, and the key, this is definitely somebody who's found a, a, the, the door to spirituality, which is perhaps helping them to change. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, you'll find peace here. You, It's like where you, the peace is calling you and that's what's going to make it so easy. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are the words of love for today, please? The words of love. Okay. So you have friendliness. You are able to recognize the truths in common with another in order to forge love, a love, a forge a love-based connection. And then joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So from what I thought was a very doom and gloom kind of reading it really definitely is but it, it has a good story ending it has a happy ending i see so but that is very nice okay let's see here what are the whispers of love for this reading the whispers of love for this reading please what are the whispers of love okay so you have um miracles and blessings everything is a gift yes it is and then uh, embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Um, I feel like that has happened for a long time. And that's kept you in that negative pattern for way too long. Um, so yeah, let's see. What is the soul message for today? The soul message for today, please. The soul message for today. What is the soul message? Okay. So it says, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Um, let's see. If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Yeah, you have to love yourself first. That's the number one thing. Um, but it says, so um, this is how you can attract. Um, um, self-love in your life. Sorry, I got a, a, a mental break there. Okay, um, so it says, set stronger boundaries, meditate and listen to your heart, speak to yourself with compassion, focus on your strengths, say no to something that isn't a yes, say yes to something you are afraid of, let go of what you cannot control, stay far away from drama and negative negativity, ask for help and allow it, write down three things you are grateful for that's those are really good advice and then this one too right here what risk can i take today and i told you somebody's taking a risk okay so it says be not mistaken you will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams 
you will have to take a big scary leap but do not fret because your soul has your wings so definitely um this is a big risk you guys i'm telling you oh wow very nice so let me know who this is for thank you so much for your time i hope you have a blessed day and i'll see you guys tomorrow